Morning guys, so today we're going to prepare the steels for going in. So I've just been shopping and we have got a genie lift that we just picked up, 10 acros, 5 strong boys, some sand, some cement. So we've got the, already got the pad stones, so let's crack on. So this is what we're doing today. Where are we? So this is it. These are the, oh, this is the opening, so this is the extension that we're building. And this is what it's getting in, opened up into. So we're going to come back here through that wall. So that's going to be 150 back. And then we've got a little nib on this side. So we'll take that out. That's going to be a bit of a pain. That should be all right. So two steels bolted together. And then one across here, bolted into here, pad stone at the other end. And then as Joyce will run, We'll put joists in between all of them like that to floor it. So we'll get some holes drilled in that piece of wood in it, and then we'll be able to bolt the steel as a wood to that steel. And then I've got these drilled, and these can be all both bolted together. So we've got to knock it all down, get some pad stones in for these to sit on. Let's crack on. So we've got steel set in place, and then. When acro props go up, which strong boys on, we should just be able to white genie lift up and it'll go in between the the acros. So that'll be good. We've just had to knock out these bottom bricks for genie lift to slide in. I think you can do it, you can buy some for it, but that's how it is on this one. So I've got them set up, scaffold set up. I'm just going to start cutting out for the strong boys to go in for acro props. So I just bought myself a new mask. Should be breathing nice clean air in. Right, some bit. Well, so I've got the acro props set in, a lot of mess, but we've got them in and uh, I've made some holes in for pad stones to go. So that's the next job, getting those pad stones in. So we're up on the scaffold and we should have 150 or maybe a bit more, I think I'll give it a bit more, 170. So 150 foot pad stone which is great, 20 mil gap, good stuff. So it should be the same up the side. So, um, Joyce. So yeah, we're gonna knock out this these blocks. So we'll have to knock out that, and then we're gonna cut these these timbers to slot. So it's still slot into them right there. So aim for today is we're gonna have to get these pad stones in. But I'll just uh, I'll just nip down and show you this. So we've got inside acro propped up as well. I've got some scaffold boards on top, and these are taking the Joyce. And the wall sits on top of the joist, so we only have to support the joist, and we know the wall's been supported above. So we've got one on the floor joist, and then I've made some holes in here where the middle bit is, right down to the concrete floor, just to know, so I know that it's going to take the strain.
just mixed a bit of sand and cement up for these the pad skulls to go up. Still wants to go one fifty onto each pastel, and that's for any lint of need hundred and fifty over on hundred and fifty millimeters, which is what is it in inches? Six inch. So get these bedded in today and then tomorrow. So we're going to uh, off nicely, sit these steels on. See what we're like, we just have to trim a bit off this one. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Side. We've got two down that side, put it to sit in. I just need to do this last one in the middle, then I can go home. So that is it, we've got the pad stones in, we've got the acro probs up, jean lifts ready to go. So all we've got to do now is uh, go to bed, wake up in the morning and we're ready to go. A fair bit of tidying up to do as well. So that's it for this uh, video guys. I know it's only Wednesday so I'll try and get the next video out on Friday or Saturday. So hopefully not too long guys, see you later. So I'm going to start putting some stuff on Instagram, so if you want to get over there and follow me, 
It's Mark.hep.